Hello there chaps and welcome to the show. Now I've reviewed a lot of graphics cards on my channel. I've reviewed every new generation of graphics card from AMD and Nvidia and I'll leave a link in the description with playlist where you can look at all those reviews and videos if you like. And the new generation of graphics cards have been they've been fairly overpriced. Pricing's been all over the place and there has been a fair markup on stuff that is hard to get. But now there's a lot of them out there. The channels are flooded with product and now you're starting to see some great value and this thing here is the price breakthrough it is probably the best bang for buck graphics card certainly in the mid-range of graphics cards here we're talking 299 Australian dollars retail or under $200 US for three gigabyte GTX 1060. Now this is the ASUS Dual GTX 1060, three gigabytes as I just said. And even though this is one of their entry level 1060s, like in terms of price, you still get the highest quality. Get two fans, we'll have a look at it later. They look very much like the Strix fans. So that's the patented fans there. So you're getting a high quality fan design there. And these fans know how to move air match that with the quality heat sinks all the Zeus products come with and they're better than the competition they just make better heat sinks we're talking thicker pipes and Asus are just known for their heat sinks fans quiet operation reliability and you get that 100% auto extreme that means 100% automated construction of this card pretty much Asus are the only people doing this as far as I'm aware and that just means you're going to have a more reliable product nothing's done by human so much tighter quality control there and build quality so let's have a look at it oh, that looks awesome doesn't it oh yeah white oh i wish they made white strix cards oh i'd really love that now usually i don't like glossy white if you've watched my channel before you know that white is my favorite color to buy products in but um usually i don't like glossy white but with this black and white contrast here it actually has the stormtrooper look it has that glossy stormtrooper look to it and it looks really awesome like i reckon this is one of the best looking graphics cards like seriously on the back there of course you get no backing plate there you wouldn't expect that on a graphics card at this price point the connections we have two display ports which are the bottom ones here and two hdmi's so it's vr ready vr friendly now, as I said before, you get quality fans in these and they look very much like the Strix ones. So, and the heat sink looks really good too. If you actually look at it, you've got really thick pipes. It looks like a very good quality heat sink. And we'll just get a closer look so you can see that beautiful white Stormtroop look there with the black accents there. The contrast in the black and white looks super cool. I like it. So let's take it, put it on my new test bench and see how she rocks. All right, I guess we want to look at some benchmarks and I didn't mention in the overview it does have a six pin PCI Express power connector there so couldn't give you some nice stable overclock in there and yes this thing does overclock. I was able to get 200 megahertz overclock and it's already overclocked out of the box as this is the OC version of the ASUS Dual 1060 graphics card and that OC clock has a boost clock of 1809 but I was able to get clock speeds of up to 2100 over 2100 megahertz and this is overclocked better than any other graphics cards I've tested and I've tested a few and that even includes the Titan X so I'm very impressed with the overclocking ability of this graphics card and its speed as you'll see later this can game 4k <laughs> and that's not a joke and all the while the temperatures never got over 74 degrees so the temperatures were well controlled and the noise what noise like seriously this is very quiet i barely heard it at all and if anything the cpu cooler is louder and it is definitely a quiet graphics card and it's overclocking performance and heat suppression is brilliant like one of the best i have seen now let's get on to some benchmarks and scores so we've got a time spy score of 4103 
but in fire strike one that everybody uses um yeah so we've got a score of 10,693 now that's with the overclock and yeah that's a good speed for a three gigabyte 1060 it's actually right up there i compared it to other scores of 1060 three gigabyte models and it was right up there so that's a very good score there let's take a look at some gaming benchmarks and as i said it can game 4k can you believe that it can game 4k we're talking battlefield 1 4k medium settings 49 frames per second that is playable 49 frames per second 4k with a 3 gigabyte 1060 i thought 3 gigabyte no way it's going to be playing 4k and i just done this really just for a laugh but i was i'm speechless i'm amazed that it does that so battlefield 1 1080p ultra settings 90 frames per second crisis 3 1080p very high settings 110 frames per second that's a whopping score for crisis 3 even though it's only 1080 that's they really improved the drivers on these graphics cards over the last few months and that's both amd and nvidia and crisis 3 4k medium settings 50 frames per second crisis 3 that's insane gta 5 4k very high settings 49 frames per second and gta 5 1080p same default settings high very high 120 frames per second or 119.678 yeah that is just wow so very impressed with the performance of this card i didn't expect such a cheap card we're talking you know 300 dollars australian 200 dollars us and only being a three gigabyte i thought it would struggle with three gigs no this thing flies and you know i was going to start off the review saying it's a 1080p gamer and it smashes everything 1080p well you can play games at 4k and 1440 should be no problem so you can see that this graphics card is a really beast for its price point i can't be beaten i don't think best bang for buck you can tell the quality components that have gone onto this card the fans they really dissipate that heat very well on those thick pipes on that heat sink they work really well i'm getting 200 megahertz overclock you know we're talking 2100 megahertz speed yeah so i'll just wrap it up here guys i'd like to really thank you guys for watching if you like this review give me a thumbs up that'll be a great help and if you're new around here make sure you subscribe why not go on you can do it and until next time guys tally ho